Well, for the third straight time in three years, the Cougars have reached the NAIA Football Final Four. But is a return trip to Daytona Beach in two weeks also in the picture? Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Parson. Once again, St. Francis prepares to square off against Morningside College in a Final Four encounter. But unlike the previous two years, this matchup is in Sioux City, Iowa, home of the Mustangs. Their last loss here at Olsen Stadium was December of 2015. They lost 30 to 27 to Southern Oregon. Matt Crable trying to get something going now. Looking, play action fake, rolls to his right, buying time, throws in the flats, and got a catch. Rocky James brings it up to the 40, 45, and into Mustang territory. So a little bit of a break now for USF and a positive note as St. Francis will have its first first down of the ball game. And that will move the ball inside the 45 of the Mustangs. Jordan May played a great ball game last week. Here's a ponder trying to go to his left and USF is going to stop that for a tackle for loss. Swartz was there. He had two sacks and a fumble recovery last week. Also two tackles for loss. That'll back him up and bring up third down and closer to nine. Dylan Hunley in the slot. To the right, the wide side to the right. Here's Crable, rolls to his right. Looks, pulls it down, pump fake. Now checks off, throws long down. He's got a man downfield, and here is Rocky James. has got the nuts. Hunley in traffic, carrying tacklers inside the 20-yard line, down close to the 15-yard line. Hunley, who dropped one earlier in this first quarter, lit, left his feet and uh, makes the, or is that Rocky James? It is Dylan Hunley. Uh, we need all the help we can get here today. It'll be first and 10. And it looks like they've got the ball right around. Is that the 10 yard line? Close to the 10. This time, time kind of a diamond alignment. We've not seen of that a lot this year. Way to the right side. And here's Cradle looks to throw a screen. He's got the catch. And there is going to be a run for a touchdown. Is that PJ Dean? I believe it was. So let's call that a 10 yard touchdown. And just like that, the Cougars bounce back. Trailing at 14 nothing, but now a 10 yard touchdown and Crable throwing to PJ Dean and got some excellent downfield blocking and PJ went into the end zone untouched. Time of the score at 7.42. Wing back to the right, short drop by Salsmith. Gonna be hit just as he throws the ball, tipped in the air and incomplete in and out of the hands of Jurgens Meyer. Good defense that time. Ryan Johnson was there. That like good defense. So it'll bring up fourth down. And we might be looking at an Amundsen field goal attempt coming up. It'll be fourth down and six. They started on the field. Three seconds remains in the quarter. From the left side hash mark, or what used to be a hash mark out there. Let's call it 38 yards. Field goal attempt is low and blocked at the line of scrimmage. And that will do it. So St. Francis, as time expires here in the first quarter, they block the field goal attempt. It keeps it at 21-7. And we will head to quarter two action with the USF. They'll have the football first and 10 at about their own 24-yard line. 21-7, Mustangs. Rixie split wide of him. Crable trying to make a play. Looks to run himself. Cuts it up. He's got the first down. Goes to the second level. And up to midfield goes Matt Crable with a key. Third down conversion run. So the Cougars move the chains here early in the second quarter. Crable in that first quarter was 4 of 7 for 80 yards. One touchdown. AP Ponder ran 60 yards and a touchdown. Crable one carry for 10 yards. Now here's a run again. P.J. Dean in the second level. They catch up to him, but he gets inside the 25-yard line of, of Morningside. And P.J. Dean, I like uh, Ezekiel Elliott of the Cowboys, indicating feed me, feed me. Good run by P.J. Dean, his best of the ball game. And here comes USF. Trying again to cut it to a one-touchdown lead by Morningside. Crable now at adjusted in the middle of the field. Short drop, two-step drop, throws to the corners. Got Chrisman out there, has the ball for a touchdown. Will Chrisman, little square out pattern, and touchdown at the 11.08 mark. So it'll be a 15-yard touchdown tossed by Crable. 
as he feathered the ball in there nicely. And Will Chrisman doing a good job of securing the football. And the Cougars on the board to cut it to 21 to 13. Grable his second touchdown pass of the afternoon. Coming at the 11.08 mark. That's Addison Ross and AP Ponder once again. And this time USF does a great job as Jamisich, James Jamisich cuts through there. Had four tackles, one for loss and a sack last week. So now that sets up third down and five. And the US defense starting to get their snow legs, if you will. So it'll be second down and 10 with 7.52 on the clock. Sulzman gives ground, screens the ball, Ponder's got it. Looking this time wrapped up and not going anywhere. USF played that one much better. Eric Dutton was there. Matt Swartz was there, along with Pearson Harnish, who had 14 tackles last week. That'll be a loss of three, maybe close to four yards, and third down and much longer. Got to get to the 19-yard line on this snap. Jurgens Meyer in between receivers. Here's Salzman now gives the net, and then he falls down. Back outside the 15-yard line at the 17. Clock continued to move inside of five minutes. Salzman lost his footing trying to uh, get some traction. Third down and 20, Salzman looking, steps up on the pocket, being pursued, and slips down and dropped. Pearson Harnish fin finished the deal. I think that was Dutton that slowed him up before Harnish got there. That's a loss back around the 40-yard line. Where is it? No, it's at the 35. And they will run a play offensively once again. And here is Solzma with three wide to the right. Looking, scrambling to his left, throws it away. Well, it's up for grabs. That one's picked off. USF gets it back. That's Wilmer Cole. Cuts to the middle of the field. Looking for a block. Gets by one. And cuts right side. And it will bring it up around the... USF 25-30 uh, yard line. We'll see where it is. St. Francis was going to get it anyway, but uh, Wilmer Cole on the interception made sure. And we will check to see exactly where that ball is. Looks like it'll be right at the USF. Take their biggest lead of the day. They lead it by two touchdowns right now. And Solzma looks to ponder, no, and he did hand it off, and he is grabbed and trying to rally, but Dutton wraps up, and uh, Swartz got a hold of him first to prevent any kind of a positive gain. So it'll be a loss back around the 10-yard line. Ponder came in today in that first half with 12 carries and 79 yards. That the is it third down and goal? Not sure where that down marker is. As Solzman looking to run a wheel on the left side. They got an open receiver. Now throws a middle intercepted ball. That's returned by Pearson Harnish, I think it is, across the 15 out to the 20 yard line. So St. Francis, they keep it a two touchdown difference as Harnish on the pick. And USF dodges a score and they'll take over the football now, trailing at 28 to 14. They'll bring it out to the Cougar 20-yard line. And a better starting position on the field for St. Francis when they started at their four after taking the kickoff. So now first and 10 at the USF 20. Working from right to left. Grable calling for a good snap. has got it. Wants the throw. Looks, throws the home run ball. Looking for Rocky James down there. Dive for it. And he's got it, reaches out, and they call it a catch. He's in the Mustang territory. And I'll tell you what, are they going to mark it at the 45? That's where he went down. He skidded to the 41. One official was pointing that area, but again, he went down, started to skid at the 45. But a big, big play by Matt Crable. And how about Rocky James laying out for that football? And catching it is one matter. Securing it is another. As you've got to twist your body around, basically to you get your body between the ground and the ball. 
Tigers work from the right side hash mark. We can see hash marks now. Crable looks, read option, wants to throw, steps up, throws the home run ball down, looking for Hundley. Down for it's got a touchdown. He was beaten on the play. The ball looked like it was going to sail over his head. That will be a 29-yard touchdown by Dylan Hundley. That was spectacular. He had no chance to look like to catch that football. He left his feet, had to lean to his left, grabbed it, held on. Touchdown, USF. They're back in it. Time of the score, 8.23. That definitely will be on the highlight film. Salzman looking read option. Now calls its own number, and the Cougars have got Jamisic as a tackle for loss. That'll be a stop back around the 41. Jamisic, good reaction as Jamisic faked, I should say, Salzman faked the handoff. Tried to run the quarterback keeper play, and boy, they gave him a great spot of the ball. And now a chance to tie the game. That's why you play 60. Here's Cravel, flush to the pocket, to the right side, being pursued, throws on the run. He's got Rixie with a catch at the 45-yard line. It'll be first and 10, St. Francis. And here come the Cougars. Not done. They've trailed twice by 14 points. Now they're down seven with the football at their own 45-yard line. First and 10. Looking, Jurgensmeyer now resets in the slot position. And here's Salzman, looks to his left, pressure's coming. He's got Ponder in the flats, cuts to the 36. He won't get it, and the Cougars hold. That is a big tackle by Marcus Stepp. Denied the fourth down bid, and USF has held for the second time on the fourth down bid. And they'll take over the football now. Crable out of the gun, too wide to his left. That's the wide side of the field. Takes the snap, looks to hand it off. Here's a run right side, P.J. Dean to the 40-45. Trying to keep in bounds, tiptoeing along the sideline and takes it a yard deep into Mustang territory to the 49. P.J. Dean with one of his best runs of the day. Comes in, started the quarter with seven carries for 46 yards. Now first and 10 at the Mustang 49. Rocky James back in wide left, slot left is Hunley. He has caught a big, big touchdown today to make this a one touchdown ball game. Dean again, up the middle, stepped out of traffic, second level and more inside the 30 down to the 27 and P.J. Dean with back-to-back -back great runs. Cougars on the move, first and 10. And they move him a yard back again, back to the 28-yard line, I believe. Officials trying to dry, dry that football off as best they can with the snow that remains. But a bit of an injury, but he's back in there now. Addison Ross sets up. Here is Trent. Here's that ball to ponder. And nice defense, a tackle. And is that uh, Marcus Stepp in the open? It was. And that'll be a loss back around the 16. Ponder in the flats, and Step was right there to take the legs right from up, from underneath him. Cole drops deep with Schumacher. Solsmith steps up the pocket, wrapped up and sacked. Back inside the 10. And the Cougars come through with some pressure. Let's see if that was Jemisic. It was. Was there a penalty as well? No, they pick up the flag, whatever it was about. Officials got together, waved it off. It'll be fourth down. Too wide, either side of the field for Matt Crable. Barking out the signals again. One to throw, no draft throws, he's got a catch. That's Rocky James, gets by one, and he battles for the first down as he straight arms another would-be tackler. Brings it inside the 35, and they will mark it right around, where, around the 32? That's where they're gonna put it down. So 28-21, Cougars on the move, needing a score to tie or perhaps win it. James stays in the lone wide to the left side, two wide to the right for Crable. Crable with the snap, wants to throw again. Looks, throws the feed downfield looking and the ball is caught inside the two and it'll be first and goal USF. Is that Rocky James? That is Rocky out there. Rocky timed his leap perfectly. 
backpedaled in close to the goal line. It'll be first and goal inside the three-yard line, and they mark it down at the one. Well, still a lot of time remaining. 5.06 to play. The clock is moving. Now the Cougars set up in the power formation. Cravel in the middle, looking, barking up the signals again. Long count from the line of scrimmage. Now gives it off. P.J. Dean diving for the goal line. Did he get in? No indication as they unpile right at the goal line. Cougars think it's a touchdown. And now St. Francis, they get that one-yard touchdown. It took a while. Touchdown, Cougars. It's a 28-27 ball game with 444 to play. They win at halftime. And here is Sulzma on the read option, hands it to Ponder. Ponder got away from one, but not. Marcus Stepp cleaned it up. Cougar stacked up the middle. Matt Schwartz was there initially. And there will be a loss, in fact, of one back around the 21-yard line. With four seconds to play in this football game. Here Salzman takes the snap, gives ground, looks, looks, and being flushed to his left side. And there's another hold and spun around and dropped. And that's the way the regulation will end. Eric Dutton got to him. So guess what? We are going to overtime. 